How to assemble your PowerMate 25-ton gas log splitter. You will need the following tools to complete this installation. Once you have removed the contents from the shipping crate and inspected the components to ensure you're not missing any items, you may begin your assembly. Step one, wheel assembly. First, attach the wheel to the oil tank axle using a flat washer and a hex slotted nut. Tighten the slotted nut by hand then tighten with a wrench only until the side free play is removed from the bearing assembly. Test the wheel rotation to make sure the wheel turns freely. Install the counter pin through a slot in the nut and a hole in the spindle. If necessary, the slotted nut may be loosened slightly until a slot in the nut aligns with the hole in the spindle. Once installed, bend both ends of the counter pin to prevent its loss. Install the axle cap on the end using a rubber hammer. Step 2. Attach the support leg to the tow bar. Attach the support leg to the tow bar using a hex bolt, flat washer, nylon lock nut, and lock pin A. Step 3. Attach the tow bar to the hydraulic tank. Attach the tow bar to the hydraulic tank and secure using two hex bolts, flat washers, and nylon lock nuts. Step 4. Attach the beam assembly. Attach the beam assembly to the hydraulic tank and secure the hinge pin. Rotate the beam to the horizontal position and secure it with the front lock pin. Step 5. Attach the engine to the mounting plate. Position the engine and secure it to the mounting plate. Put four hex bolts through the bottom of the plate. Place a flat washer and tighten the nylon lock nut to 15 foot-pounds of torque. Attach the clear oil pipe to the bottom of the gear pump and secure it with the clamp. Step 6A. Attach the hydraulic hoses. Note, all hydraulic ports contain plastic plugs that prevent oil loss during shipping. These plugs must be removed before assembly. Because the unit has been factory tested, there is some oil in these lines. It is recommended to have a small container to catch the oil that will flow from the uncapped lines during installation. Put the corresponding O-ring on the rear pump outlet connector. Then, attach the hydraulic hose to the rear pump outlet connector. Similarly, put the corresponding O-ring on the external filter connector. Then, attach the return hydraulic hose to the external filter connector. Step 6B. Attach the control lever. Remove the spring counter pin and the retaining pin from the control valve rod. Rotate the control lever until the hole aligns with the hole in the control valve rod. Install the retaining pin through the control valve rod and the control lever. Then, secure it with the spring cotter pin. Step 7. Add engine oil. Note, a 16-ounce bottle of four-stroke engine oil is included with your log splitter purchase. With the log splitter on a level surface, remove the oil fill cap or dipstick to check the oil level. Since the engine oil capacity is 16 ounces, or half a quart, empty the entire contents of the engine oil bottle into your engine oil reservoir. Note, the recommended oil type for this engine is 10W30. With the engine oil added, replace the oil fill cap or dipstick. Check engine oil daily and as needed. Step 8. Add gasoline to the engine. Note, gasoline is sold separately. Use only fresh, regular unleaded gas with a minimum 87 octane. The engine gasoline capacity is 0.7 gallons or 2.6 liters. Remove the fuel cap and slowly add fuel to the tank until it is half an inch from the top of the tank. Do not overfill. Screw on the fuel cap and wipe away any spilled fuel. Step 9. Add hydraulic oil. Note, hydraulic oil is sold separately. The recommended hydraulic oil type is 10 weight AW32 or ISO 32. With the unit on a flat level surface, remove the oil cap from the hydraulic oil tank. Check the hydraulic oil level. For initial setup, add 3.2 gallons of hydraulic oil. Once again, check the oil level. Start the engine and use the control lever to extend and retract the wedge several times to remove air from the lines. With the wedge retracted, check the hydraulic oil level again and fill if necessary. And that's it, you have successfully assembled your PowerMate 25-ton gas log splitter.